hey friends, today we're taking a look at beads, the long-awaited follow-up to clouds. A granular texture synthesizer, we're going to be doing some exploratory patches, playing around with the things that popped out to us is really cool, and uh, having a good time. So basically what we're doing here is we're making the size kind of unlimited, so it's just eternally reading and writing a grain and we can scrub through the recorded grains with time and shuffle around our buffer which is a whole lot of fun because it's super instantaneous and then we can pitch it up pitch it down wig it around you can douse them in reverb or introduce even more madness with a feedback and you can do a quick freeze to grab a window there's lots of fun things here you can do with like percussive or dynamic patches we've had a lot of fun exploring them for the past day or so <laughs> And here's Jacob, my best patch pal, with some of his cool patches. Thanks, Wes. For my first patch, I'm going to show off Beads' capabilities of processing external audio sources. For this patch, I'm using beads as an end of chain effect, supplying some granular delay, a bit of reverb, and some saturation. For the audio source, I'm using a video I took at the beach. Here's what that sounds like, totally unprocessed. I'm running that audio into ears and then rings to supply some tonal foundation to the patch which is also being modulated by tides and sequenced by the zero control to give it some additional movement. Here's what that sounds like. At the end of everything is Beads, supplying some ambience and effects. Beads is in the red scorched cassette quality mode to give it that sort of tape-like wow and flutter and saturation. Here's what it sounds like with Beads processing everything. So one of my favorite things about beads is that the right output can be configured to be a trigger source. So every time beads activates a new grain, a trigger is generated at the right output that can be patched to different destinations in your patch. In this particular patch, I'm taking these triggers coming out of the right output and using those to excite the resonator and rings. And from there, the output of rings is then being processed by beads. Thank <laughs> you. 
With an external clock source patched into the seed input, beats can become a sort of glitchy beat repeat type of effect. In this patch, I'm running rings into beads, which is capturing snippets of rings into the recording buffer, and then sort of blending them back in with sporadic playback. I've also got some feedback patching going on from one of beads' outputs going back into rings to apply some extra grit to the patch. Should I do like a back to you, Wes? <laughs> back to you, Wes. <laughs> wow, thanks, Jacob. Awesome patches. Beads is absolutely jam packed with features. Mutable really delivered. People are going to be exploring and discovering new things to do with beads for a long time to come. So, whatever cool patches you cook up, tag us on Instagram, send them our way. We'd love to hear what you cook up with this thing. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.